744 happening right now. 4,500 new sailors coming into Hampton Roads. The USS John C. Stennis is pulling into Naval Station Norfolk as we speak. 10 on your side's Kayla Gaskins joins us pier side. Kayla, sounds like a lot of joy there. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement for this homecoming as the John C. Stennis pulls into port. You can hear it. They are welcoming their sailors home, and there is the boat pulling in now. Again, there are 4,500 sailors on board, and those sailors will now call Norfolk home. We've been talking to these people right here. So, Tommy, who are you welcoming home? Brad Kopernick. And, and what is he doing? He's got a pretty important job over there. Yeah, he's driving the ship right now. He's pulling it in. All right, we, have, we have Brad's mom right here. What is it like watching your son drive that? It's very nerve-wracking right now. <laughs> and this is his first major deployment. Yes. How does it feel getting him back home? It's Incredible. very exciting, wonderful. We are so excited. <laughs> and I've been crying since last night. And we're going to get another shot of that ship because, as you can see, Brad did a pretty good job pulling <laughs> it into port. Look at that. And, again, 4,500 sailors all with a pier full of people welcoming them home. That is the USS John C. Stennis. It is now calling Naval Station Norfolk home. It's actually going to get some work while it's here at Newport News Shipbuilding. While it's in port, the ship's been gone for seven months. Now they are back. We are going to have reports on this at noon, and we're also going to have reports later tonight on Wavy News 10. Well, that does it for us out here at Norfolk. Reporting live, I'm Kayla Gaskins. Head on your side.